G'day guys, it's Andrew for another Friday Night Beer Review. Uh, this week I've got uh, a beer that I kind of teased last week, uh, but for those who maybe didn't see last week's video, it's the FA18 Rhino uh, Quadruple IPA, or I don't know how, how would you say fifth quintuple IPA. It's five eyes there. Uh, which is a beer from uh, Hope Estate. It's uh, 18%, as you may have judged from the label and and the name, F-A-18. Um, apparently it's named for the, the fighter jets that fly over the area up in the, in the Hunter there. Um, and I did a bit of, bit of looking at, at this one. Apparently it has 150 IBUs in it, so um, IBUs business units uh, for those playing at home and just like your normal beer is probably like 20 or something like that your normal IPA would be 50 plus to 100 so 150 is big so um, yeah can't wait to try this oh I have had it before um, as I did say but I haven't had it for quite some time and I didn't think uh, I would ever get to have it again because I honestly thought that I'm all gone so um, interesting just because I'm not sure when oh no packaged only like two three weeks ago three weeks ago so it's quite fresh which is pretty cool um, big hoppy beers are always really nice the fresh you can get them but something this big that many IBUs and 18% I would say it would totally hold up to a bit of age um, it's like pretty much a barley wine at that, so and it's probably just semantics whether it's classified as an IPA or a barley wine, American barley wine. Um, but yeah, that's the whole thing I probably could do a whole video on actually is aging beers and, and things like that. I do have a little uh, collection in the corner there of some beers that I'm, I'm aging. Yeah, a lot of beers can, with high enough IBUs and alcohol can last, you know, well, God knows how long, but definitely still good at three to five years, um, even some longer than that. Um, so anyway, me prattling on, uh, grab my glass. So again, 18%, uh, the 375ml can, this is 5.3 standard drinks. So I've had to do this, you know, Definitely make sure I'm not driving anywhere for the, the rest of the night So please be aware it's gonna kick a bit of a uh, Yeah, a bit of, pack a bit of a punch should I say um, It's essentially like drinking a strong wine or a liqueur at this stage, so I had a Bit of a spill on the crack there was a bit of a dent in this can be fair but wow look at that so probably not the best pour on my end um, but with all that alcohol um, it might have a little bit of a diff like difficulty holding your head anyway oh wow it's really aromatic so actually yeah I did a bit of research and found uh, that I I think I stated before that I was pretty sure this was a naturally um, fermented. It wasn't uh, proofed up or uh, had any extra alcohol added, and I was correct. So apparently, it's a Brett fermentation um, along with an ale yeast, and then finished off with a wine yeast to get it that extra up a little bit. So um, yeah, totally uh, fermented, uh, not proofed up with any sort of. Uh, alcohol added so yeah it's pretty cool all right let's give it a proper nose mm. uh, I get um, a very piney citrus maybe sort of nose Something like your classic West Coast sort of IPA, your classic American hops. It's a similar sort of smells. Maybe Galaxy, I think as well. 
passion fruit. Mm. And then like a smell of multi sweetness. I know sweet isn't really a really a smell. It's like a, a flavor, but you, you, I, I'm sure you, people will understand what I mean. Like a multi sweetness. Oh, well, cheers, guys. Ooh. Wow. That is thick. That is mouth coating. Mm. Very good. If you've ever had other bar like things like barley wines, you uh, understand, or even thick. Russian Imperial Stouts like our last one, though that wasn't as thick. This is just very mouth coating, very rich. Um, it'd be interesting to know what the final gravity on this is, how many unfermented sugars uh, are left in it, because it is very rich. But still really balanced. So really high bitterness, just um, you know, helps balance out that sweetness and the residual. So it's not cloningly sweet at all. It's quite drinkable, not like not too bitter at all either. At all, like probably the IPAs we had a couple of weeks ago were probably more bitter than this to the in apparent bitterness. And in terms of flavour. really hard to pin down mm. I think there's like a resin a resinous to it um, it's not very citrus really on the on the flavor it has definite alcohol note um, it's kind of meets you in the middle and then uh, lifts off as you swallow. It's really hard to pin down. A lot of resin, pine, maybe even medicinal. Hmm. More, more on the bitterness, I think, than anything. Probably smells hoppier. Well, it's definitely hoppy, but smells more aromatic than like in, in than flavor. I have to be careful because I have to realize that probably should be treating this more like a wine and not try like drinking it like a. I do in like six minutes or so because it is like five standard drinks you don't have five shots one after the other so it is something you are meant to sit on so I do recommend sitting on it and it will change as it heats up as well so so I hold my hands to it a little bit warm it up very interesting beer very kind of challenging from a um, tasting standpoint actually it's kind of a lot of really bold flavors that just whack you up front. It's really hard to um, kind of sort through them. You know, it's a big kind of mess of hops and, and malt, and it's kind of hard to distinguish any any of the flavors. But it's definitely it's enjoyable. It's it's um, it's really quite well balanced for how. Um, how many sort of things it's pushing with the alcohol barrier and, and IBUs and everything else it's got going for it. It's like pushing the boundaries, yet it's still quite drinkable. Sorry if this one's a little bit longer as well, you guys, because I am trying to take my time, trying to um, be responsible with it and try and sort through it a little bit. Because that is something I haven't actually fully addressed 
on this channel yet that do um, like to practice the responsible drinking and not service at, at the moment, but um, you know, exhibit responsible alcohol use, something to enjoy on a Friday night. Oh, it's a very cool beer. All right, so again, that's the FA 18 Rhino from Hope Estate up in the Hunter there. Really cool beer. Um, grab it if you're interested. If you've never had anything in the high alcohol range, it's definitely, it's totally different kind of beer. Um, there's a reason why they call it barley wines, uh, a lot of things over that because it is a lot more like a wine or a fortified wine, really, because um, you do have that viscosity. Um, so it's totally something different than a normal beer. If you've never tried it, definitely worth checking out, seeing if it's something you're into. Um, again, drink responsibly, like plan your day. Um, don't be doing this, you know, when you gotta be at work in like three or four hours, because that's just not a bad idea. Uh, that, that's not a good idea, see? It's already hit me. Half the thing. Uh, yeah, and to that end, um, I guess I should uh, introduce uh, next week's beer, uh, or at least preview it. So this one is actually uh, from a brewery that I haven't had before, so totally new to me. They could Big Drop Brewing Co. down in Melbourne. So this one is actually a viewer. Um, requested or reviewer sponsored, I guess, beer. Because uh, this was actually given to me by a good friend Guy. Shout out Guy. Thanks for dropping this to me. Um, something that he's picked up and he thought was really cool um, and he wanted to get my thoughts on it. So this is actually a zero alcohol beer or a 0.5%. So very low alcohol, bordering on soft drink kind of beer. So we're going from 18% to 0.5%, um, so one end to the other, but it's meant to be um, a full-on pale ale with Magnum, Mosaic, and Amarillo hops, 42 IBUs. Um, so this is a full-on craft beer uh, at that lower percentage. It's something I've never had before, and I don't know too many people doing it, and it's really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. Cheers guys, I'll keep sipping on this. Um, hope if anyone did pick one up, uh, you're enjoying it. Enjoying it slowly and, and responsibly. And um, yeah, call that a night. Thanks guys, catch you next time.